Hi, this is Dr. T once again, and today we're here looking at the box method for multiplying polynomials. Now, you better have a sharp pencil, maybe even a pencil sharpener, because this video is going to run a little long. We've got lots of examples, uh, lots of explaining to do, and hopefully you'll be able to get this and uh, run with it the next time I see you in class. But this method works for every problem. If you remember, the FOIL method only worked when you're multiplying two binomials. This doesn't matter. It's Trinomial, binomial, mononomial, trinomial, it doesn't matter, it works for all of them. Alright, so here's what you have to do. First of all, we're going to multiply these to 3x minus 5 times 5x plus 2. Now, first thing we're going to do after that, we've got our problem identified. Now we're going to draw a box, and we're going to write a polynomial on the top and side of the box. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Here, I have my 3x and my negative 5. And down on the side, I've got the 5x and the 2. Once again, it wouldn't matter where I put them as long as I kept the terms from, both poly from each polynomial in the same, uh, either top or side. Now, in the very next problem that we're going to do, this one, we're going to actually do it and we're going to compare it to FOIL as we go through. We can do that here because we're multiplying two binomials. So this time we're going to do 3x minus 5, 5x plus 2. And we've got the 3x minus 5 here, the 5x plus 2 there. And in terms of the FOIL method, we multiply the first terms first. So we get 3x times 5x. And that's what we have right here, 3x times 5x. You might imagine what's going to go in this box. All right, so our answer is 15x squared. We would have gotten that with the FOIL, and we also get it in the box method. Now, the second term... Uh, second multiplication is going to be the outer terms. Our 3x times up 2. We've got 3x and 2. So the answer is going to end up being right here. And we get 6x. Now, remember the next part of FOIL? I for inner terms. And our inner terms are the negative 5 and the 5x. We've got our negative 5 here, our 5x here. So this cell is where we'll find the answer to that problem. And we have negative 25x. And finally, we have the last terms. And that would be the last term in the first binomial and the last term in the second binomial. And we have our second binomial's last term, our first binomial's last term. We multiply those out for the square, and we get negative 10. All right. And now we're going to combine like terms right here, the x and the x. And once we do that, we end up with 15x squared minus 19x minus 10. Now let's try this one. We've got 7p minus 2 and 3p minus 4, the product of which we're going to put it in this table. So the first thing we're going to do is, set, is fill up this cell, and that is like our first terms, is within the foil, and so we end up with 21p squared. Next up is our outer terms, the 7p and the 4, 7p and negative 4 is going to be negative 28p. And then we have our inner terms, the negative 2 and the 3p. And our inner terms are going to yield a product of negative 6p. And then of course our last terms, the negative 2 and the negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, the product's going to go in this cell, and that's a plus 8. And then, of course, we have to combine like terms, our variables with a p, and we end up with 21p squared minus 34p plus 8. You can't read this, it's 21p squared minus 34p plus 8. Now, try this one out and see what you get. Uh, y plus 4 times y minus 3, uh, you go ahead and pause it, and when you hit play, I'll still be here. All right, I hope that when you work this, you got answer number one. Uh, if you didn't, you're going to want to do what? That's right, work it again. Okay, try this one out. 2a minus 3b times 2a plus 4b. And once again, pause it, I'll be here when you return. And I'm hoping you got number 4, uh, 4a squared plus 2ab minus 12b squared. If you didn't get these and you try it again and you still don't get it, 
uh, make sure you come see me um, tomorrow and we'll go over it together. All right, we're going to multiply 2x minus 5 times x squared minus 5x plus 4. And the question I would ask you is, can you use the FOIL method here? You cannot use the FOIL method here because they are not both binomials. We have a trinomial here. So we're going to have to use either the box method or the distributed property. And in this case, we're going to use the distributed property. And so we're going to distribute our 2x across each of the factors in this trinomial. And we're going to factor or distribute our negative 5 among all the terms in this trinomial. And what we end up with is 2x cubed, because we've got 2x times x squared, the 2 plus the 1 on the exponent here gives us a 3. Uh, 2x minus 5x, is, or times negative 5x, is negative 10x squared. 2x times 4 is going to be 8x. And then we have 5x squared, 5, negative 5 times negative 5x is 25x, and then minus 20, negative 5 times 4. And then we combine like terms, and we end up with 2x cubed minus 15x squared plus 33x minus 20. Once again, if you have a problem understanding where the numbers come from, please see me or one of your classmates for help. Once again, we cannot use the uh, FOIL method here, but we can use the box method or the distributed method. And in this case, we're going to look at the, uh, the box method. So the first thing we're going to see is the product of x squared and 2x. Right here, 2x and x squared. And that's 2x cubed. Then we're going to see um, the product of 2x and negative 5x, which will be right in here, be negative 10x squared. And then we're going to see the product of 2x and 4, which is going to be 8x. All right? Now we've got to go and just uh, look at the 5 and see what we're going to do. The negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared. Negative 5 times negative 5x is 25x. And finally, the negative 5 times the 4 is negative 20. All right, so now you know what's left. We've got to combine like terms. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is combine these uh, x squareds and we're going to combine these uh, x's. So what happens here, the negative 10x squared and negative 5x squared will become negative 15x squared. The 8x and 25x will become 33x. And we end up with 2x cubed minus 15x squared, the sum of these like terms, plus 33x, the sum of these like terms, minus 20. And that's all I'm going to do for this, the box method. I would like to thank the, the folks at Henry County, Virginia. Uh, their website has been very helpful in putting these uh, videos together, and I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends up in Virginia. For the rest of you, I uh, look forward very much to seeing you again in Algebra.